Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. Oh, look, a bug. And we are back with more Starfield. And we are up to going after Marco Grazzini on the run. This is the final one. Yeah. So. Alright, is that where we're supposed to go? Or is... Yeah, because we're there. Alright. See what happens. Last time we jumped, we got shot when we jumped into the system. And stuff. Damn it. All right, this will be interesting. I suppose it depends whether we start shooting first or not. You the runner? Boss is in the back. Better behave while you're in here. This music is gonna put me to sleep. No shit. Holy crap, this is his ship? Nice ship. Wow. This is going to be a nightmare trying to get out of here. Ah, the dulcet tones of classical piano. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Um... Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, the degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Steve, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged ranger. To settle accounts, Major Hull served with distinction during the Colony War. But the leaders of the Free Star Collective, they turned on him. In his eyes, the rangers are enforcers for a corrupt council of governors. That makes you his enemy. Go. Cool. As for me, I didn't see any profit in nursing that grudge. I prefer to focus on the future. That's right. Major Hull spent 20 years in lockup nursing a grudge against the Free Star Collective. We all did. A lot of good men and women died for nothing because of those cowards you work for. You've chosen your side, and I've chosen mine. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You are on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who will kill you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to... I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. 
However, I can point you in the right direction. In exchange, I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. Ooh. We can't give him that. Suit yourself. Hey, at least now we get to uh, empty this place for loot. So yeah, let's Nice. So that should now start killing everyone. Veterans refined crew space helmet. Damn, it's going nuts out there. One sec. All right. No goodies. How you doing? That's good. That's right. This thing's just a more of a. Bad boy's more just about. Oh. Get out of here. Hey, hey, hey. Chill with the grenade, sir. You boss for that. this way. Oh, that, oh, you gotta be kidding me. That was lame.
Now you almost feel compelled to pick some of that stuff up. You know? Can I turn this alarm off? Is it for the down down? Okay. Yeah, we just gotta go back and give that slate to our crazy guy again, and then I guess wait for him to... How else we can go, I guess. office is the question. Nothing in the security office. No. Got a gun. But he's got more, again, stuff to... No, no magazines either. God, that sucks. I saw a grenade. Beds, dang it. Nothing underneath. Oop, one weapon case. Guys, here we go. I hey, dude. in cryptography. A lot of smugglers use coded slates, so it comes in handy. Hey there, deputy. How goes the hunt for the first? <laughs> good, good. If you ask me, I don't think they stand a chance. You're like an Ashta creeping silently through the high grass, waiting for your chance to pounce, and then boom, down they'll go. So, did you get any more of those encrypted slates? Because let me tell you, I am so close. Oh, come to daddy, you sweet little piece of technology. You go stalk your prey and leave the rest to me, deputy. Okay. I'm investigating Mercy and Group called the Fizz. That's enough. Check in with Marshall Blake. Marshall Blake's right here. Here, Deputy. Take a seat. No. This won't take long. While you've been in the field, we've had more reports about farmers being threatened and attacked. Unfortunately, some didn't survive. It's worse. It's tragic. How's your investigation proceeding? That's assuming he finds something useful. Otherwise, you'll be no better off than when you started. Let's move on. I asked the other rangers to share their opinions of you, and there are some things I want to go over. Oh, shit. We'll start with Ranger Callow in Hopetown. 
She was grateful for your timely arrival and impressed you had the guts to take on those pirates. Nia says you were respectful with Ron Hope and didn't push too hard. That shows me you were listening when I said to go easy on him. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Dealing with the council can be tough, but it comes with a badge. No need to make it harder than it already is. Let's continue. We've got a detailed report from Ranger Price about your recent uh -oh. visit to Neon. He said you took on a syndicate loan shark to help an informant. And you were right to do so. Helping people is our most important duty, even when you're conducting an investigation. You got results, and that's what matters most. Shit. Price was impressed by that. Said you really took the initiative. Ranger McMillan praised what she called your uncommon bravery and dedication. She said you took on the Red Mile so you could get a meeting with Marco Graziani. Yep. Is that so? Well, I hope that's not just false bravado. No, not really. I know There's the weapon There's nothing wrong with feeling fear. More often than not, it'll keep you alive. So what happened with Marco? I doubt he gave you that slate out of the kindness of his heart. Yeah, I did try to persuade him. I suppose underestimating you was his last mistake. Damn. I thought if anyone could see reason, it'd be Marco. What about Maya Cruz? Her loyalty to Hull and the 1st Cavalry was stronger than most. I guess I'd want the same thing if I were in her place. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. I know, but this is important. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slates. Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. The Factory? That was our nickname for the main facility where the mechs were manufactured. Under the terms of the peace treaty, they shut all the mech factories down right after the war. But they didn't destroy them. At least not all of them. Yeah, what do you Never know saw it? it myself, but I know it's a large facility, mostly underground. If the first are occupying it, they'll probably have set up defensive positions throughout the complex. The facility was on Arcturus too. It could be a dead end, but if it's not, then you'd better be ready for a fight. Oh, damn, sir. Be careful, deputy. Okay. Okay, it looks like he needs some rest. Go get him, deputy. New deputy, huh? All right, hold on one second here. I'm going to go restock and rest and a whole bunch of stuff. Actually, I think they can use their beds here. Need to find one. All righty, so we got a nice short jump to Arcarus. Got everything, well, as well as I could get. See what happens.
Okay, well, I guess we got a hell of a fight list here going on, don't we? was fun. Not really. Okay. So we should in theory. Yeah, here we go. Landing says let's go. Increase ship turning rate and maneuverability. All right, folks, so we'll stop right there. Just to make sure this episode doesn't run too long. I have no idea what's going to be going on when we go in there. But tune in next time. As always, keep your heads down. You're warriors of doom up and all. See you again real damn soon.